welcome back to this Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. Last time we cleared out the Academy, and we know that our the Gentle Master we're looking for is in the Kinrath Caves. we got some quests to hand in first. Let's talk to Sulru here. Any luck on getting my modulator back from Joran? I don't think anyone here will be able to help me. Excellent. How did you deal with Joran? And normally, in the normal game, Joran was in fact the thief, but in this case, it since there was some content restored, he was not. It has to be someone near their camp, and no one else lives around them. You might be right, but I doubt it. Are they turning on their own? Typical. That's about all I know. I've never seen the thief, clearly. Do you have any idea who it is? And you could say it was a former Padawan. Well, Jedi never stop meddling with our world. Even now they're causing problems for us. She's part of the reason why our world was invaded. Why many families were wiped out by the Sith. Endless interrogations. And, uh, you can say, well, you're not the only ones. You don't think I know that. I fought in the war, and it was fallen Jedi that were responsible for the greatest atrocities. They're dangerous, and too prone to fall into unspeakable evil. We'd be better off if they were extinct. Yeah, um, that might hit home, close to home for the exile, actually. But, anyway... You can point out the Jedi responsible for saving us. They saved us from their own kind. Without them in the first place, there wouldn't even have been a war. And you can point out that the Jedi suffered alongside you. And part of me thinks that's a good start. They're almost gone now. Perhaps in time there'll be a memory, and the galaxy will be a safer place. And, uh, you can point out he sounds pretty, uh, pretty vicious there. And this sacrifice was for people like you. The Jedi kept on sacrificing themselves almost to the last for your survival. This is something you should respect. We just can't afford another war by fallen Jedi. The Republic will fall, and that will lead to... It'll lead to suffering I can't even imagine. And you can say these are the Jedi's darkest days, and thousands of years of service and peace shouldn't be casually tossed aside. I, I hadn't thought of it that way. But they caused my home so much turmoil. Now we're barely hanging on. I have a lot to think about, not just about the thief. Here's your reward. Finally, I can get back to work. Anyway, he gives you two uh, blaster pistols. That second one, that Zabrak heavy blaster, is fairly good. It's not as good as the ones I have on Atten right now, but I will eventually uh, try to equip all of my characters simultaneously instead of just having enough equipment to uh, equip one set of characters. Uh, right now, it's taking me about 8,000 components to uh, put together all the pieces for a full a set of equipment for these guys. So, yeah, it'll be a little while. Let's hand in the uh, the will. It's you again. Well, you know who I am. I figure you've got a reason for coming back. You want something? Yeah, we can talk about the salvagers who died. I'll tell you what I tell all those grubby salvagers. No body, no claim. I'm no longer even looking at wills or credit notes, and if you think that's gruesome, then go space yourself. Okay, and if we're going to pull out of our back pocket two dead bodies... Let me see the will. I'll be glad to get rid of this claim and get those salvagers out of my headquarters. He left all his possessions to one of the other dead salvagers? Will I ever get rid of that damn Jedi garbage? Guess nobody gets them now. The administrator will have to figure out what happens to them. And until then, the salvages are going to keep bothering me. If you do falsify the will, you'll get another lightsaber here. As I said, I've got plenty of lightsabers for what I want to do, so I'm not... I'd much rather have the light side points. We can also tell him we've turned in his little delivery. It's you again. You once... I don't have anything to say about that. We can talk more later. Alright, well that was a bit terse. Anyway, I'm going to meet you back at the Kinrath Cave, because we're done with what we're going to do here. Here we are in the Crystal Cave, with where the Kinrath work. Uh, I'm using a different party member, just for variety. Halt, Settler. This is a restricted area. How the hell did you get through the Kinrath? You should leave. Okay, we're here to rescue the Jedi. We are highly trained veterans, and you're just a settler with a toy blaster. We're taking the Jedi to Nar Shadda, and that is the end of that. I'm gonna say this nice and simple for your little calf-hurting head. Unless you want to wind up dead. 
leave now. Okay. Um, we'll tell them we don't want to fight, but can't let them take Rook. I warned you, but I'm glad you didn't listen. Attack, men! And we get some light side points for, you know, being light side. Doing Narshadov first sort of adds a continuity to question. Because really the diversity was, uh, you know, looking to uh, get the Jedi on uh, the bounty is uh, right here in front of us. So, uh. Always rushing into action without thinking of the consequences. What? You're expecting thanks? Kunda is in danger. And you've ruined the best chance of averting a full-scale conflict. Yeah, uh, what's the line from Lord of the Rings? Open war is upon you, whether you would wish it or not. Anyway, um, you can apologize. It doesn't, you can't actually get any light side points out of this. Right now, Dantooine is at a critical moment. If Kunda falls, then the Republic may lose control of this system. Still, I'm surprised you were able to get this far. Although you do have your Jedi training to fall back on, every action has consequences, no matter how small or insignificant they seem. And even the smallest choice has the potential for harm. The Mandalorian Wars was proof of this. Intentions mean nothing of a greater tragedy is caused. Now, you can argue with him, but I'm not gonna bother. I need to get to Kunda and warn them. They could be attacked at any moment. Okay, and you can ask how I can help. If you wish to prove yourself, then do so. Kunda's in danger and they need our help. The mercenaries have allied themselves with the exchange and are planning to attack Kunda. They've been holding off for the right moment. And now, since they lost their captive Jedi, they'll attack immediately. I'm going to try to reach Administrator Adari. Time is of the essence. Okay. Now, I looted this area earlier, but there are a couple other, other than, you know, the dead bodies. Um, the, uh, these metal boxes are new. They don't have anything particularly interesting in them, but, you know, hey, it's just stuff. And I'll meet you outside. You are the Jedi I've heard reports of, and I am Askul, leader of the mercenaries on Dantooine. Okay, well, we don't really want to help you, so... According to my reports, I have four times as many soldiers as the militia. And I'm committed to taking Kunda. It is inevitable that I will succeed. If you wish to avoid my men eradicating the people of Dantooine, you will make it easier for me to take Kunda. Of course, I will pay well for your services. Okay, if he has four times as many people as the militia, and the militia has like ten people, hmm, that's not a very big army. I'm not worried. You'd better reconsider. I can't have a Jedi interfering with my plans. There is a considerable bounty on your kind that I will collect on, unless you're working for me. Okay, well, the die mercenary scum here is a dark side option, which will give you influence with uh, HK-47 if he's in the party, um, but I don't want dark side points, and I've got all the influence I need with HK-47. You could also try and sort of lie and, you know, deceive your way through this, and, you know, tell them you're helping them when in fact you're not, and get influence with Kreia. If you don't do that, you'll lose influence with Kreia. But I'm going to choose, I cannot allow your plans to succeed for some light side points. Men, I trust you can handle this Jedi. Oh, I trust they can't. Not at all. Because they're right there, all in a nice big group. Which means we just... Or, well... Assuming they have to live long enough to force wave. And that particular group of guys that never drops anything, which is annoying, but oh well. Let's head back to Trinity. What's that white thing on the horizon? I wonder. Yeah, they're mines. Uh, most likely this is a defensive minefield, but the reality is it has no effect whatsoever on the uh, actual events that take place. So I'm just going to disarm it all and uh, take this as my tribute for helping them defend the place. I'll do that off screen and then meet you inside Kunda. Here we are inside and uh, looks like there's a meeting that's going to take place, but we're out of time for this episode. So next time, Defense of Kunda. 